morning, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday, it's Tuesday morning. And uh, we're gonna do math. We're gonna work in our Go Math Packet and you hopefully it is in your yellow math folder, okay? So the Go Math Packet, we're working on chapter four, doing a whole bunch of things with the number 10, aren't we? Represent and compare numbers to 10. Today, what we're gonna do is put numbers in order. So let me take that cover off and show you now. If this is what you see first, if it's a black and white page, just take it and tear it out. I uh, Sometimes I do it after the lesson, but I didn't do it. So this is the one, look how, didn't that look familiar? We did that on Friday, didn't we? In the colored packet. So we don't need to do it again. We can throw that away. If we do go back to school, we'll be using those pages for homework. So we are right here. It says page 145. It's uh, very easy. It says we're going to order our numbers to 10. Now, boys and girls, are these numbers in order? One, two, three. <laughs> I need to get my nails done, so I'm going to use my pinky. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, they are, right? Now, down here, you see some missing numbers. We've got a one, and then we have to trace the two. We have a three and a four, but we need to put the five. We have a six and a seven, but we need to put the eight and we have nine and 10. So you just fill in the missing numbers, and then this you can use if you're not sure how to make the number. We, de we don't want the number backwards, so you could always look up there for a sample. You could also use a number line, and I use these number lines with you guys before Christmas vacation, and I remember thinking, I need to send home number lines for the kids, and then I forgot, so sorry about that, but you can easily make yourself a number line um, on your whiteboard or use a ruler. That's a good number line, okay? Because the numbers go all the way up to 36 on a ruler. Okay, so I'm gonna put in those missing numbers. Now, when you make your numbers, I know their numbers are teeny tiny, but we wanna make our numbers nice and big because they're giving us that big line there. So I'll, I'll hold it up. See, their numbers are really tiny, but then they're giving us this big line. So we have a top, a bottom, and a middle. So make your numbers to match this one. So now they are in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tear that out and do the back, okay? Now the directions are the same for the next two pages. You're just going to, now I know you see a three, but it's way down here. Right underneath this 10 frame, you're just gonna count the counters, one, two, three, four, and put a four. Okay, and then I'm gonna count the counters, one, two, three. So right underneath the counters, now I'm counting the green counters, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you probably don't even have to touch them like that. Like this one here, instead of touching each one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know there's five on the top and two more. Five, six, seven. There's different ways to count them. And then this one, you probably don't even have to count. When the whole top row is filled up, do you know how many are in there? Five, there we go. Now underneath it, now that you have all the numbers, okay, we've got four, three, six, seven, five. Boys and girls, are those numbers in order? No, they're not, are they, right? So if we were gonna put them in counting order, which number would come first? You have to go from the smallest to the biggest, okay? So if you want, you know, use a number line or use a ruler, or I think you can probably do it without two. The number, the, the smallest number there is three, and what comes after three? Four, what comes after four? Five, what comes after five? six, and then the biggest number there is seven. So now they're in order. If we were able to move these around, if this was like digital and we could touch and uh, uh, drag and drop, we could put the three here and the four here and the five here, the six here and the seven, and they would be in order, right? So we do the same thing here. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five counters in the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and do this super fast and then I'll show you. Okay, I do want the kids to count them by themselves. I don't want to give them too much help. So look, you just, look, you count the counters and put the number. Count the purple counters and write the number. Count the blue counters. Count all the counters and write the number. Now, they are not in order. Look, five, eight, four, six, seven. If I was counting, I don't count one, two, three, four, five, eight, four, six, seven. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you start with the smallest number and put them in order. Now the, the directions are really clear down here. 
So if you guys forget that, you can um, have somebody read the directions. And the directions are the same over here. So I tell you what, I'm not even going to do this with you. You count, write the number, count, write the number. For each one, you count the um, counters in the 10 frame and write the number. Look at this one here. I can see the yellow one. It's almost filled up. I, I know right away that that's 9 because, look, it's almost 10. One less than 10. And down here, I know that this one is 10 because it's all filled up. So some of them are super easy. You don't even have to touch and count them, right? Now, when you get these done, you're going to put them in counting order. When you get these figured out, you're going to put them in counting order. So I just have one more page to go over with you. That's the very last page on the back. And you do have to read the directions. Place counters in the 10 frame to make 10. Draw the counters. So if you want to put your counters down, you can, or you can just draw them. I'm just gonna draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the boxes are filled up. When they say make ten, you know you're gonna fill all the boxes up. Five on the top, five on the bottom. Now this is like what we did the other day. If we have six blues, one, two, three, four, five, six, how many reds do we need? Well, the rest of them, one, two, three, four. Now, I don't have my crayons sitting here and I don't wanna get up and get them, so what I'll do is I'll color this later. And then when you do that, if you have six blue, okay, I put, here, I put the answers. If we have six blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're gonna color these blue. Then, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's right. Then to make 10, we would need one, two, three, four. Remember they call that algebra? It's missing number six plus what? is 10. Now, if you guys know algebra, it's six plus X equals 10. Okay, and then what would the missing number be down here? Seven, eight, we've got a 10, we're missing a nine. And that's it. So we are doing ordering numbers to 10 today. I think it's pretty easy. And so uh, that's it. And have fun doing your math today. Bye-bye.